Hey guys, this is Alexis of uh, Sophie Leather. This video, I want to talk about some bags and some new products. Uh, basically, it's just an excuse to make a video. Um, basically, this bag here. We'll go over that in a second. That's a tote bag. But this is a new bag that I'm experimenting with. It's basically my clutch bag. Hold on. And I had some complaints about this. You see it's a clutch, meaning there's no gusset. And my wife was using it for a while. She was like, well, I can't really fit too much stuff. It's kind of bulky. I get it. Um, to be honest, I was trying to make something kind of fast. So I took my time and just put a gusset in it. And she's been using this all week long and absolutely loves it. So I might be adding this. Let me know in the comments below if I should add something like this to the website. Um, has a pocket in the back and the rest inside is just open just open so I mean, does she have anything there yeah anyway um, comes with that cool locks system there but uh, I am making a tote bag that matches this um, but anyway that's one of the new bags and this tote bag here let me show you this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous this bag this is a tote bag an executive tote bag very similar to the one I make uh, on, on my channel that that uh, pale green Tiffany green kind of color um, and all I have left is just another eight stitches and I'm done. I'm gonna bevel this, burnish this, and then we'll call it done. But uh, yeah, this is a custom build. She wanted this little uh, business card thing here and the gusset one a little bit bigger, like six inches. So let me finish this and show you the end result. Like I said, this video is just to show off this bag. A couple of things that I keep close by when I'm doing a gusset is a pair of pliers with this jeweler's stuff on it so it doesn't mar up the the uh the, the uh thread needle sorry and then a piece of beeswax so that when i'm not using the needle i could just place it here so you can see i'm using this um what should i call it these stitching clans i'm using them hold on i can't talk and do the same time I'm using them uh, loose on the table so that, to me, I found this easier as I'm struggling right now. Wow. This is embarrassing. I'm gonna leave it in there though. I'm not gonna film all of this, but I just wanted to show you a couple of cool little tricks. This video is just terrible. I don't even know. I'm gonna leave it in there. This stitching clam, I left it loose. It does come with a base that you can secure directly to the table, but I don't want to commit to that. So I just put some weights on here and I hold the body of the bag as I sit you. I found this to be the easiest. And like I said, I keep these close by. The hard part is done, man. These corners, whew. it took me about two hours to do this side and then two hours to do that side. So four hours total to stitch the gusset in place. I know a lot of guys are gonna say, oh, you should, you should uh, machine stitch that. I made a video on why I like to hand stitch my bags. Uh, I can't get this hole. You believe that? That's because you guys are watching and I'm filming. And my hands are slippery because my fan's off. Okay, I'm gonna leave this in there. I'm gonna leave this in there to show you how real life is. Anyway, I made a video on why I like to hand stitch my bags. Primarily is, I don't know, I like it. And I know the machine's not gonna leave a mark. The machine will leave a mark. I'm talking too much. Hold on. Wow. satisfying you don't even know I've been waiting for this moment my whole life it's like the best thing ever am I ruining the ASMR by talking Maddie 
I feel like I'm ruining the ASMR. Not if I move my mouth as I do this. ASMR. ASMR. All right, let's burnish this thing. I'm not filming. Nobody can hear you in the world. Are you serious right now? You don't want to make a presence on YouTube? Let, let everybody know that you exist. Everybody thinks right now I'm just, I don't even have a wife. Really? Yeah, they're like, oh. There's a lot of guys who are like, hey, are you single? These are guys. It's really weird. What do you tell them? I tell them, uh, no, I'm not single. I'm married to the most beautiful woman in the world. You don't tell them you're single and you like to mingle? I don't like to mingle. Did you just kiss me? Do you even love me anymore? I don't think you love me. I think you hate me. I think you're using me for my leather skills because you get free bags whenever you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a, just like your own personal leather smith, Maddie. You're not a tool? No. So the boys want steak. Do you want steak? Of course. I can't say no to steak. Do you want me to go to Publix or to Sam's? Sam's is too far. Sam's too far. Who's going to cook the steak? I'm busy leather workings. I don't know. Not me. I don't know how to make steak. Well, it's time for the boys to learn how to make steak. I'll teach Jeremiah. Ask him, tell him to if they want it, they have to make it. Right. If they want it, they have to make it. to make this like a little that happens, Lego piece? That happens when you... Uh, I know. I'm just kidding. It looks cool, though. Can you, when you're in a shop, can you be that. professional? I don't like being professional. Can you be professional? You're bothering me right now. So what do you want? I want you. No, seriously. I want you. You don't film me the whole time, right? No, you're not. I am. But it's a close-up of this, even though they can't see it, because I'm not even pointing it towards the camera. It's actually a waste of YouTubing. Yeah, get the steak. I'll cook it. I'll get the grill ready. Well, this video turned out to be terrible. This is a low-effort video right here. Well, I'm just creating the base, the base that's going to float on the bottom to protect the bottom of the bag and give it some structure. Uh, that's what I'm doing here. Just one thick piece of leather. You can get fancy with this if you want. You do two pieces stitched together. Um, but this is a piece of nine ounce leather and that should be suffice. Actually, before I forget, I'm gonna wet this a little bit. I'm gonna put my maker's mark on here as well. Right in the bottom corner right here. Let me do that. Like my wedding technique, it's really professional. I should wait till it dries a little bit, but I'm too impatient. I think this is gonna be fine. Ooh, that looks good. Still wet, but uh, I'm gonna wait till this dries. Bevel and burnish this, and I think we're done. All right, you don't have to be too fancy. This is gonna be hidden down there. I'm just gonna do a quick bevel and a quick burnish. Like I said, nothing fancy. The flesh side is always sketch. Why can't we, why can't God create like a cow that uh, has grain on both sides? You know what I mean? That'll be the best. I'm gonna create that. I'm gonna create it. All right, let me burnish this thing. If I create a leather that has the grain on both sides and I sell it to you guys for $3,000 a square foot, would you buy it? If you don't buy it, um, I hate you. If you do buy it, I like you. Um, that's just the reality of life. This video, it's the best video I've ever made in my life, just so you know. I'm just doing a quick little burnish right here. I like for my mic to get caught up like that, that's fun. All right, she's done, boys. Yep. All right, next thing, lastly, is I gotta put these around here. And I like to use these Chicago screws. And these are a little different. I get these from this really special store. You probably never heard of it. It's called Amazon. 
as well as this tool here. And what this does is it holds the mail. This is really helpful. Super helpful tool. I hold it so you can kind of do a little thinking about like that. So I'm gonna put these in. All right, we'll do one and then we'll call it done. But I put a little drop of Loctite on the male side here. I said a little drop and I put too much. Just so that there's just a little bit on there. It's a little inty bincy that's a real leather term. I'll do one and then you'll know that all four is the same. It's not a big deal. And this is the beauty of this tool is that I can go into this bag like this without this thing falling out. And when it gets to this point, well, I cross-threaded it. Of course I cross-threaded it because I'm doing a YouTube video. You know what I'm saying? Once it gets to that point, I grab a regular one. Because I think it, it does get kind of silly. All right, I'll do the other three and then I'll show you the back. <sighs> Literally two more turns and I'm done with this bag. I said two more turns, but I meant to say six more turns. I do this until I feel the head spinning on my, my pointer finger. So I know that's all the way down to the base. She's done. I'm gonna lube her up, put this base in, be done. Last piece of thing for a little key thing. That's it. <sighs> Let's go over this bag real quick. This is my executive tote bag. This is gray with natural lining, six inch gusset, newspaper pockets on the front, six inch gusset. Uh, it's a two-tone look, very, very nice. There's a, biz a business card holder in the front there. This is Metropolitan Gray with their nude. Um, on the inside, there's just two newspaper pockets, one here and one down here. And I, of course I have this base that slips in there. That should never come out. That should just stay there, protects the bottom and gives it structure. But there is the bag. Let me give you my outro. Low effort, this is like an F for effort on this video, but I'm really proud of this one. This is probably one of the nicest, but I always say that. I like it, it's nice. What do you guys think? Let me know. All right, I gotta go. Bye. I'm gonna set this up for like a thumbnail thing. So all my bags here. You know what I'm saying? Like a thumbnail thing. You know what I mean? Does that look good? Can you see? Let me get closer. Yeah. Now we're cooking with bare fat. All right, y'all. Bye.